Dab Dab YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zoxler. Once again, coming at you with a Pinoy 1000 winner video. Um, yes, it's been a while. Um, I need to explain why it's been a while, but I'll get back to you on that in a minute. I just wanted to say it's time to finish this Pinoy 1000 May cash giveaway, and I'll tell you who wins that right after this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. Yes, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, it's been three to f nearly three or four months since I started the Pinoy 1000 May Cash giveaway and the reason for me not being able to get online, I've posted that on my Instagram I think a couple of times. I've been having problems with my internet. Um, I've had extreme difficulties in trying to get these people to fix my internet. Um, we are in lockdown just like you guys and it's not essential for me to be traveling around to wireless hotspots with my laptop and doing things. Uh, it was, it's a $16,600 fine if you are caught outside of your home doing non-essential things so I didn't want to go out and be fined so that's part of the reason I wasn't able to go to find a hotspot. Um, my wife and myself, our cell phones, we don't have that much data um, available on our phones. Um, like I said, we're in lockdown, we're going crazy. We've been using most of our minimal lockdown to watch some Netflix and that. Um, but my main internet, my fiber at home, has been out for nearly four months. Um, problems with the provider selling it to the wholesaler, blaming them, then blaming them, um, to construction issues down the road. Some In the end, they found out that someone's hit the actual fiber line, um, caused some damage, and that was the only way they were able to fix the problem. Everything they tried before did nothing. Modem, change modems, replace modems, reset settings, um, turn this off, turn that on, try this, try that. We've tried everything. I had technicians coming to the house and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. And after a long, long, arduous wait, I finally have my internet working again. And I know it's, what's the date today? It's the 6th of September and I need to end this Pinoy 1000. Um, <clears throat> I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I'm going crazy. I need to finish it. So let's do that and get on with this. Um, you know what I do. I turn the camera around, go to the comment picker. So I'm going to do that right now. So let's do it. up a little bit okay so we're here um, some of you might ask why, why don't I do like a screenshot of the actual screen um, this way this shows it's one take I don't like to do two takes because I can edit things in and edit things out this way you can see it's all one take um, now I, um, I need to copy the URL from up the top and I need to go over to the comments picker. Um, I opened it up, but I'll show you I open it again. Open it up, and I need to put the URL in here. Filter duplicate users. Uh, I don't choose any of these, because that, that means I can sort of manipulate things. So I'm not gonna do that. Let me just turn that around a bit, okay. And then we um, <coughs> get the YouTube comments. There hasn't been many, 11 in, in total. That probably incl includes me, um, and that's part of the reason why I will be most likely ending this Pinoy 1000 due to the lack of support. Um, and I'll get to that once I've selected the winner here. But let's get on with this. Um, get the YouTube comments. Okay, so let's pick a winner in three, two, one. The winner is Abigail Thomas. Okay. I know she's been a long time follower of mine. Um, let's just go back over to YouTube and see if she's commented. Abigail, we'll look at Abigail Thomas, she's there. She's done the right thing. She's answered my question. Like I said, 
most of my videos I ask for you to put your real name up the top then answer the question and leave your Instagram name at the end of the comment just so I can confirm because it's hard to find all these people if I don't know who you are um, so let's click on her name let's copy that um, let's go over to Instagram um, let's paste that there Abigail Thomas um, okay that looks like her okay so it says follow back which means she's following me so I'm, I'm confident she's done the right thing and I can um, confirm that she's the winner let's close that let's close that let's go back to the video and yeah I can confirm that Abigail Thomas you are the winner congratulations for the Pinoy 1000 May giveaway let me just fix this up camera back where it was and I'll explain something to you okay so yeah congratulations Abigail uh, I will be contacting you shortly in regards to getting your information so I can send you that money well done um, yeah this um, this uh, I'll put it there I don't want to use the words just in case they put some uh, spam advertising over the top like they normally do if you mention that word um, so I'm, you know what I'm talking about everyone's been in lockdown um, I know most of the Philippines has been in a pretty pretty hard lockdown um, extreme lockdown we here in Australia also have been put in a stage 4 lockdown for the last couple of months um, it's quite how can I put it um, for most people it's been quite hard people have lost their jobs um, people have lost their lives, a lot of people have committed suicide due to this um, and a lot of reports are coming out now from doctors all over the world that these lockdowns don't work it does, it does more bad than good um, it's unfair that we've come to this um, most people will tell you that this has been a man-made virus and I tend to believe in that as well um, it's unfortunate but it seems to be taking most of the elderly people um, and I just want to say maybe you didn't hear about it but I myself got the yes me and my wife we were both out for about three weeks um, it's been a week and a half now since I've been back to work but prior to that um, my wife got it from her work and she passed it on to me and we were reasonably sick I wouldn't say we were you know hospital material um, I can understand how many would have panicked rang the ambulance and ended up in hospital and you might see figures hospital figures that are skyrocketing because of that uh, most of the people do recover like we did um, Lost smell, dizziness, weakness, body aches, um, typical of a, of a bad flu. Uh, I had one of these prior to meeting my wife 10 years ago, about 11. It was in December when I decided, and I've never had one. I've never had a, a flu shot or a vaccine for the flu ever in my life. But on that particular month of the year, in 2000, uh, what was it? 2009 I believe I decided to go and get a flu shot flu vaccine and six months later I caught the flu and it nearly killed me it was the worst flu I've ever had in my life worse than this this one and it took me five to six weeks to recover to the point where I could actually get up walk around and go to work um, but I still had residual effects like a bad cough, problems with breathing for the next two to three months after that. So in theory, that took nearly three to four months to recover from that flu that I got over 10 years ago. This took about two, maybe three weeks to get rid of. Once it was gone, I was straight back to work without any issues. My wife had a bit of a recurring cough. Um, took an extra week and a half just to settle that cough down but we both recovered and we both survived unfortunately a lot of the elderly people are dying 
and sad, sad to say, um, seems to be the same case all over the world. But you need to think, these people were already on their last legs, and this was sort of a tipping point, and they've used this virus to scare a lot of people, when in actual fact it's just a bad flu, a bad virus that 99.9% .9 of the population will feel like it's just been a bad flu. They've pumped it up, they've inflated numbers just to scare the people to keep you to keep you under their thumb. That's all this is all about. It's all about control and keeping people docile, quiet. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna probably cancel this Pinoy 1000 for now until further notice. Um, suspend, postpone. Um, I'm not. I'm not getting the support. I thought I might be able to get some support. Um, I thought I was doing the right thing. I don't need to do this, but I just thought I'd I'd be the one to thank all the Filipinos for supporting everyone else who's doing these YouTube videos, especially the foreigners now living in the Philippines. They're making a lot of money. They're quite successful in what they do because of the Filipinos. If they went back to their own countries to vlog, they'd be nothing. But because of the kind-hearted folks in the Philippines, you guys are all backing them and supporting them, and they're living the good life. They're not really giving back much. I did a video half exposing the foreigners. Um, I was going to do another one, but I might save that a little bit later. But I think you all know who these people are. They're all vlogging in the Philippines. They're all foreigners. Most of them have moved to the Philippines and they're taking advantage of you guys. You guys, they're taking advantage of you guys to earn their thousands of dollars to live quite a good life. Um, and I don't think that's fair. Some of these people now are claiming to sell merch in order to make more money. They're telling people they're making donations, but yeah, I'll leave that up to you to, to think, to decide whether they're actually doing the right thing or whether or not they're taking advantage of you guys. So, um, Abigail, I will be contacting you shortly. Um, thank you to all the guys who have been here with me, supporting me. Um, I'm not saying this will never come back. I just need more people to support me. I need more people to get this, to get the word around that I'm, you know, I'm doing the right thing. I'm supporting people that I really shouldn't be supporting. The guys who I just mentioned before, they're the ones who should be doing giveaways back to you guys for giving them the views. But I've stepped up, I'm doing it. And for the time being, I'm going to postpone it because it's not working. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not working. So from as of today, my internet's back. I'm going to start running my music videos. If you like that, subscribe. They're really good songs that I've chosen personally. Um, they're really good for intros. When the intro starts in your vlog, you use the first 10, 15 seconds, and they're they're really good. You can use them in your in the middle for B-roll, um, or you can even just download them, put them in your MP3 player, and just listen to them when you want. Uh, you need to be subscribed to them, paid subscription, if you want to use that music in your videos. Otherwise, you will get a, 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 subscription, a copyright strike. So just make sure you don't use any of my songs, any of my music in your videos, unless you have a paid subscription. Anywhere else applies the same. Facebook, if they catch you, you might get the video deleted or copyright strike. Okay, so for now... Um, that's it. Um, I just want to say to all the people, once again, thank you for supporting me. Um, salamat. Um, I will continue with my music. So until I hear the word, until I hear from you guys that you want this to return, I'm going to sign off now. Um, only thing to say now is stay strong, stay safe. Peace out.
Close till I get up Time is barely on our side 